Engineers of the Human Soul Russian, Inzinari Selavicheski Dus Chinese, Ren Lei Ling Hun De Gong Cheng Shi was a term applied to writers and other cultural workers by Joseph Stalin. In the Soviet Union The phrase was apparently coined by Yuri Olsha. Viktor Shalovsky said that Olsha used it in a meeting with Stalin at the home of Maxim Gorky, and it was subsequently used by Stalin, who said, Kakmetko virusilsatovarus Oleza Pisateli Inzinari Selovicheski As Comrade Olsha aptly expressed himself, writers are engineers of human souls. During his meeting with writers in preparation for the First Congress of the Union of Soviet Writers, Stalin said, "...the production of souls is more important than the production of tanks and therefore I raise my glass to you, writers, the engineers of the human soul." Joseph Stalin, "...speech at home of Maxim Gorky", 26 October 1932. It was taken up by Andrei Zhinov and developed into the idea of socialist realism. China Deng Xiaoping spoke approvingly of «engineers of the human soul» in the post-Mao era, while also condemning the «gang of four». Deng stated, Writers and artists should conscientiously study Marxism, Leninism, and Mao Zedong thought so as to enhance their own ability to understand and analyze life and to see through appearances to the essence. We hope that more and more comrades in their ranks will become real engineers of the human soul. In order to educate the people, one must first be educated himself, in order to give nourishment to the people, one must first absorb nourishment himself. And who is to educate and nourish our writers and artists? According to Marxism, the answer can only be, the people. See also New Soviet man Soviet dissidents Helmholtz Watson General Propaganda in the Soviet Union Propaganda in China Social engineering political science <laughs>